Is Grab really a super app? Are you really getting a good deal when share price has tanked? It pays to wait. Remember that I shared in December that Grab shares tank on the historic Nasdaq debut? Back then, Grab touched almost $18, only to 10 below 10 USD rapidly sink this bad deal. I mentioned that the journey for the stock price for Grab will not be smooth sailing, as I mentioned since 23 December 2021. Grab is still not cheap at a market cap of 12.3 billion USD. Many people think that it's a good deal right now. Is it really a bargain now? Really? I will stay out of Grab not only because of the general tech price weakness, but on Grab current skill. True, storytelling is very important in stock pricing, but now markets are increasingly demanding so story alone without numbers to substantiate is simply not good enough to buy a stock. Sea Limited has over 100% growth in revenue for 4Q results year on year, but Silicon Jump and EBITDA loss in 4Q2021 for Sea Limited still freak out market participants. Look at what C has done. C share price still fall from 145 USD to 110 USD. This fall of 35 USD represents around 20% fall. DoorDash still didn't perform that well in terms of share price after results, but its skill in terms of revenue is 4 billion USD on a trailing basis. For Grab, its FY2021 revenue is only 675 million USD, a 7x differential in terms of skill. If we take a page out of C Limited IPO debut, C valuation used to be far behind Grab, but it's now at 61 billion USD. But Grab is at 12.3 billion. We are thinking there are so many well-known investors. Are they wrong? Well, we we'll have to ask ourselves if we can take a 50% of more price fall before it eventually recovers. You have to ask yourself this question. That's for me as well to think through. Question is when it's going to recover. Don't we want better margin of safety? At least to me, I want it if I want to buy Grab, and I wouldn't buy Grab at 3.28 USD. But wait, think our Tamase put money in Grab at 10 USD? We must all remember that Tamase has different entities, and his venture arm has long ago invested into Grab during earlier series of funding. Now let's look at the financials. Despite a higher GMV in 3Q2021. Its 3Q2021 revenue for Grab was lower than 3Q2020. Isn't it weird? Here's their different business segments with deliveries, mobility, and enterprise. Just bear in mind, here I have not included the financial services business segment. Before we really think through whether to invest in Grab, we have to think through what went wrong for Grab in 3Q2021. Naturally, to me, I have decided to wait. And when I look, get 4Q2021 results, the various business segments like deliveries, mobility, enterprise, and new initiative. I saw the respective GMB for deliveries going up, for mobility coming down slightly, and enterprise and market new initiative went up. 4Q2021 GMB of around 3.3 billion USD just based on the sum of the respective business segment that I mentioned. I've not included financial services division because that one is more on payment volume, when I take a look and look at DoorDash gross order value, which is around 11.1 billion USD, we note that there's a differential in terms of scale of 3.4x. As for C Limited, its 4Q2021 results is 18.2 billion USD, and we're not even taken into account its highly profitable gaming company Garena. And you look at the difference in terms of revenue skill, C Limited is 3.2 billion for 4Q2021 results. For Grab, it's only 122 million, a 30x differential. And we note that revenue as a percentage of GMV is still relatively low, given the figures shown here, 122 out of 3 plus to 4 billion GMV for our Grab. Naturally, the question to think through is, is there an execution issue with regards to its ability to monetize from its ecosystem and platform? Though there is indeed a lot of use cases that Greg can work on, the road to profitability and cash flow positive is still a long way. As such, market pricing, whereas price to sale is still around 18x for a share price of 3.28 USD, I still find Greg expensive. This is not the time seriously for market to pay extraordinary high prices for storytelling. 
you can see right now for me, I would rather wait to see if Grab will fall below 2 USD, which even at that pricing means market capitalization of around 7.5 billion USD. At that price, it's around 11 x price to sales. Is it a good price? I will reassess if it happened, but to me, I want better margin of safety. This should not be construed as any investment or trading advice. Thank you.